My name is Emmanuel Odama. I come from Uganda. Recently, many Ugandans amazed by photos of this big guy said to come from Arua who was locked in a tight embrace with American President Barack Obama. Matters got even more confusing when their names sounded similar. So who is this Arua chap that played a central role in the big yearly function? Emmanuel Odama is a mixed bag of good things. First, he is an agriculture scientist who trained at Makere in the mid-2000s where he resided in Michelle Hall. But rather than get a nice job in Kampala like most of his contemporaries, he made what he describes as the hardest decision when he chose to return to West Nile and become a community worker without any assured income. His mission was to pass on the modern agricultural knowledge to the rural folk in the area where he was born and raised. I decided to go and be with them so that I could be able to share my knowledge and my skills with the farming community in my home district. But physical strength and academic qualifications alone could not keep a man going. So Odama put all his trust in God. The deeply spiritual guy became a fully fledged pastor when he introduced President Barack Obama to the Young African Leaders Initiative Convention to welcome the President of the United States, Barack Obama! First of all, I want to thank Emmanuel for the great introduction and the outstanding work on behalf of the people of Uganda. Please give Emmanuel a big round of applause. I don't know whether they chose Emmanuel because he's such a great speaker, which he is, uh, or because they thought he and I were cousins. Because uh, Obama, Obama, there, there must be... There must be some connection. Emmanuel means God is with us and he has certainly been with this Arua boy who chose to go and serve the rural people for the past decade. He was chosen to go and meet the high and mighty in the United States. The opportunities that this opened up can only be imagined but not calculated. Odama is happily married and he continues to serve the people, God and his country. He says the challenge of his generation is to offer the African continent new hope for a better future that we can pass to our younger siblings, our children, and our great-grandchildren.